allergens! Hey everybody, welcome to Allergy Spites. But tastes good! We're doing gluten free, we're doing dairy free, but there is eggs in it. And this bread passed the family test, so yep. there you go. <laughs> so awesome. come on in, let's make some hazelnut cherry bread. We're going to start off with two cups of hazelnut. Just from the bag. We didn't soak them or anything. Half a cup of gluten free rolled oats. Two tablespoons of hemp seeds, hemp hearts, I guess. My dad likes bread that used to have a lot of grains in it and stuff. So this is how I kind of came close to his idea of green bread. Multi-green. Yeah. And rye. <laughs> I haven't done rye yet. I'm just having flashbacks to the rye bread we used to make. Oh yeah, seriously. One tablespoon baking soda. One teaspoon baking soda. Half a teaspoon exanthin gum. Not a tablespoon? Shut up. <laughs> it's a day. It's a day. I'm here. Um, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> half a teaspoon redmond sea salt. And then we're going to mix it up to make our flour. Okay, so there's our flour. It looks pretty cool. Actually, it does look like flour, doesn't it? Yeah. Pretty neat. Okay, so now we're going to add the wet ingredients. Five eggs. A quarter cup avocado oil. I thought that was maple syrup for a second. <laughs> maple syrup shouldn't be that thin. But you wish, right? Yep. Yeah. Half a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Are you sure it's supposed to be a tablespoon? Yeah, half a tablespoon. Yes, I am, <laughs> sir. Will you stop bugging me today? I'm half broken, too. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than this. One teaspoon cherry extract. This is imitation cherry extract, but it works. And now we're going to mix it up just till it's all wet. Mm. Good. Okay. This is very pleasant. Why? Everyone loves soggy bread. <laughs> You're so funny. So we've got some frozen cherries. What we're going to do is we're just going to chop them up so that we don't have to overbeat the bread. So we're just going to cut up uh, about a third of a cup of frozen cherries. They don't have to be really small. But not halved either, eh? Okay, we got our one third cup of frozen cherries all chopped up. I wiped down the side and we're gonna let it mix in. And we're done. Done. So, can I eat it now? <laughs> you like soggy bread. <laughs> well, anyone that <laughs> does like soggy bread. Ew. Says this pan is 925 by 525 by 2 and 0.75 inches. So you need about a 9 by 5 pound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just going to pour this in. Set our oven to 350. And our bread is ready to bake. Is our bread ready to loaf around? Ah, it's so funny. So just smooth your top down and stick it in your oven. Ooh, look at that beauty. She's super day. 50 minutes okay. in, <laughs> in the oven. We'll take it out of the pan. And slide it off the paper. And then we'll leave it to cool. And when it's cold, we'll give it a cut. We'll see you then. Okay, so our bread's been sitting. It's cool. It's not as cold as I'd like. Like, I like slicing it the next day, but because of the video, we're going to slice it now. It is cool, though. So we're just going to cut off a few pieces and show you what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, it looks like a multigrain. It does, doesn't it? And because he doesn't eat weed anymore, it works really well. And he likes it. So, hope you like the video and enjoy the bread. And we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye.